Hi everyone and welcome to my Budgets video blog. I'm my Budgets director and founder, Tammy Barton. This episode is in honour of Mother's Day. It's all about our mums and grandmas and their advice when it comes to money. I'm excited to say that I've got help in this video from my Budgets staff who are going to share the advice of their mums and nanas too. But first, I want to acknowledge some interesting facts about women and money and how these facts might influence the financial advice they give us. In Australia, on average, women who work full-time earn around 18% less than men. One of the causes of this gender pay gap is that women are more likely than men to experience breaks from work to raise children. And they're also more likely to juggle paid work with unpaid caring duties. Not surprisingly, Australian women are also more likely than men to run the household budget. I certainly saw this reflected in my mum's life. She was a stay-at-home mum raising four kids, including a son with special needs. It's only now, as an adult, looking back that I realise how tight money must have been in our household. Growing up, I can't recall that mum ever bought herself new clothes or ever once even went to the hairdresser. Yet as kids, I felt like we never went without. There was always food on the table and money for school excursions, and if I needed new shoes for basketball, mum would somehow always come up with them. My mum also taught me about generosity. Even though we didn't have a lot of money, my mum was always helping others, whether it was cooking meals or giving away furniture or whatever else she could do to help. Both of my nanas were really good at stretching pennies. For 35 years, my nana Monaghan paid money into a Christmas account every week so that when December came around, when Christmas rolled around, she knew that she had enough money to contribute the meat for Christmas lunch and buy presents for her five sons, five daughter-in-laws, 15 grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. On the other hand, my nana Ray's financial forte was bargain hunting, or still is bargain hunting. She refused and still refuses to pay full price for just about anything including only buying the tops of celery sticks because Tammy, not only are they cheaper, but that's where all the flavour is. Through Nana Ray, I learnt that second hand can be as good as new and how to drive a bargain, which came in handy when I was starting my budget and moving into my own office for the first time, where I bought second hand furniture, which saved me thousands. But that's enough about the inspiring women in my family. I'm gonna hand you over now to some of my budget team members to find out what advice and tips they learned about money from their mums. Since I was little, my mum always said, a dollar saved is a dollar made. My grandma's words of wisdom were, pay a bit, spend a bit, save a bit. It's basic, but it is true, and it's how I live my life. So my mum was very practical and very, very frugal. So she never let anything go to waste. So when she made pasta for lasagna, every little bit of pasta dough that was left over, she'd turn into a dessert. So it was my job to roll it up and cut them to balls. And she'd fry it up, and then she'd throw it in with some honey and some hundreds and thousands, and it created this beautiful, yummy dessert. And same too when she bought family assortment biscuits. Nobody would ever eat the milk um, coffee ones, so she made a dessert out of it. She used the milk coffee biscuits as a base, and she'd throw wherever she could find in the pantry. So bit of lollies, a bit of chocolate and custard and leftover Italian coffee from the coffee pot and created this beautiful dessert which was called Pizza and Glaze and it became a very sought after dessert in our family um, and we'd all request that she made us one when it was our birthdays and then of course family gatherings we all fought over it and there was never any left. Mum was really good at um, putting together like all her recipes were really very much little or no cost and nothing ever 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 went to waste and oh by the way my mum also was a very firm believer in using a blanket instead of a heater come winter time. So growing up, my mum always used to say to me, if you look after the pennies, the pounds will look after themselves. I mean that she meant sort of, don't always throw away those little five cents here and there, keep them, then say, oh, it's only 10 cents. At the end of a lifetime, they actually do mount up and end up being dollars that can actually save towards something. My mum's advice, which she gave me since I was little, was to save today for a better tomorrow. Every penny I save today counts. My mum always tells me to save um, whenever possible, especially now that I'm growing up in, during my past my high school days. So I'm always usually trying to save money because she used to keep nagging at me, asking me to save money because when she was much younger, um, she never used to it and she struggled a lot. So um, that's why I started to save. And, uh, thanks, thanks mum. Thanks for uh, all that. Uh, Great tips and that's why I'm, I'm here today. 
With mums like that, no wonder you're so good at budgeting. From all of us at My Budget, we wish everybody a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you to all the mums and grandmums out there for everything you do. Until next time, happy saving, and I'll see you soon.